Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of decimal multiplication with area models. This is standard 5.3D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 42 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Maricel is using this particular model. This is just a simple rod with 10 squares. That's going to represent one whole. We need to find the best representation of 1.8 or 1 and 8 tenths times 4. So we have 1.8 and 4 represented multiple different ways. Only one of them is actually correct. So let's make sure we understand what 1.8 would look like. So if we've got 1.8, if this hole is going to be 1, right, so we're going to say that's one hole, then the 8 is going to be, oh, just a little, the 0.8, the 8 tenths is going to be just a little bit shorter than it. So that's what we see in J, that's what we see in H, that's what we see at the beginning of F and G, but we also see something else there. So let's look at F. So we have 1.8, so here's my 1.8. And then it looks like we are simply adding another uh, quantity there, and that is 1, 2, 3, 4, that is 4 tenths. So what this did is rather than multiplying 1.8 times 4, it added 1.8 and 4 tenths, which is going to get you... 2 and 2 tenths. So that's not really what we're looking for. How can we tell what we're looking for? Well, let's just estimate here. So this is about, we're going to round this to, it's almost 2. Right? So 1.8 is really close to 2 whole. If we multiply that by 4, because remember we're supposed to multiply the 1.8 by 4, we're looking for something near 8. So this 2.2 up here in F is not really going to work for us. Let's look at G. This looks a little bit more promising. It's got 1.8. Still looks like it's adding. And I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's just adding 4 extra. 1.8 plus 4 extra. If we wanted to add that, 1.8. Four, we need to make sure we're putting our 4 in the 1 spot. It would be 4.0 if we really wanted to make it look even. It's going to get us 5.4. So that's going to get us a little bit more. Still not what we're looking for. We're looking for something similar to 8. Close to 8, but not quite. Let's look at H. So this is 1.8. And it looks like they're adding another 1.8. They're adding another 1.8. Looks like they've got four sets of 1.8. Hopefully what you're seeing is when we're adding our 1.8s, you are seeing repeated addition. You're thinking, you know what, that's repeated addition. And another way to think of repeated addition would be 1.8 times 4. And so I'm thinking that H is really what we're looking for. But let's just double check with J. So we've got our 1.8. Oh, but look what they did for 1.8. They're breaking it into chunks. They tried to divide it by 4, but it's not even division. Division requires equal groups. That's not even divided into equal groups because this top group has only got 2 tenths and the bottom group has got 6 tenths. So J is just flat out incorrect. So let's figure out what this is. 1.8 times 4. So 8 times 4 is going to be 32. 4 times 1 is 4. Add that 3 is 7. There's one digit behind the decimal in the factor, so there's one digit behind the decimal in the product. Our answer is going to be 7.2, which, remember, we were trying to get near this 8. So 7.2, that works. That's doesn't round up to 8, but it's pretty close. Our answer here is H.